right, Guardian. This is a smash and grab. Smash some hive, grab a chunk of submine. And live to tell the tale. Wrath moves in the open, but I worry we are missing a piece of our enemy's plan. Maybe for now, but we'll have a war mine up and running soon. If anyone can outmaneuver Zivu Arath, it's Rasputin. me in and I'll get that door open again.
Vault security re-up. You know what to do, Guardian. Right, Mara. That scorn's definitely trying to corrupt the submind and using some weird interface to copy out files. Luckily, it looks like Malahayati's rewriting itself with repair protocols every time we clear the bunker, so damage is minimal. I suspect the witness is treating this scorn as a living archive, copying important information to its mind for safekeeping. Troubling. There was never a second age, only a precursor to the Collapse. The Witness drew you in and exploited you, like an invasive vine pushing through a crack in stone. You invited it in, and it ran rampant. From your tone, I take it you've had a similar experience? Well, that doesn't surprise me. You seem the type to be attracted to power. No, it is power that is attracted to me. Okay, I know this sounds unbelievable, but I think I found our solution. During the Dark Age, Rasputin segmented off a portion of his code to develop on its own. An independent AI. He stuffed that code into an exobody. And, long story short, that seedling of code became a guardian called Lord Felwinter. Felwinter died. Like a final death. But I had this idea, so I reached out to Saladin. He told me that the Iron Lords kept the remains of Felwinter's ghost, Felspring, at the Iron Temple. Think about it. Missing pieces of Rasputin's code, linguistic data, pieces of Felwinter's personality, Ingram. We can use it all. I convinced Saladin to grant us access to Felspring's remains. He's got allies on the ground preparing them for us. I need you to go out and get the data. This could be the breakthrough we've been looking for.
Okay, minor change of plans. I just got off the line with Saladin. How Salvation has dispatched skiffs to the Iron Temple. They must have intercepted our communications. Saladin's Iron War Beasts are already on the ground, buying us time. But we need to act quickly. multiple house salvation contacts remember the cabal at the iron temple are allies do your best to protect them as well Their commander decided to handle this personally. His mistake. said would you be so kind as to relight the temple bonfires before you proceed further it would do this place honor never knew you to be one to care so much for tradition osiris i have a fondness for the iron lords when i was but a novice i trained under their tutelage it was different then i was different I studied here when I was newly risen. Some tried to teach me patience and temperance. You can imagine how well that went. I found the lessons of one warlock to be as insightful, if less uh, frustrating than the others. may surprise you, Anna, but the mentor of which I speak was Lord Felwinter. You... you knew him? Why didn't you ever tell me? 
I did not know his true identity until recently. But that's just an excuse. The truth of the matter is, I had time to tell you, but I chose not to. Because I was, am, a selfish person. I am trying to be better. But you know how change can be. So this is the Iron Temple. Are we permitted to go inside? We don't need to, therefore we are not permitted. I doubt Saladin's time with the Cabal has made him less strict. So... Bellwinter, what was he like? Reckless, like me. But also brave, self-sacrificing, heroic, and if we're lucky, maybe some of that will rub off on Rasputin.
I was a prisoner within my own mind for such a short time. Yet I awoke to find the world deeply changed. Cabal and Elixni standing side by side with guardians. I worry I am a vestige of a forgotten age. Losing relevance. Will it be the same for Rasputin? When he's restored? It'll be the second time he has woken to the aftermath of a calamity. I feel as though I understand him now. Even if only in part. That's her. Or what's left of her. Fellspring. Fellwinter's ghost. Our ghosts are magnificent things. And far more ephemeral than we want to believe. Her data core is still active. Guardian, I'm initiating remote data uplink through your ghost directly to Rasputin. All right, we're... Wait. Rasputin is trying to say something. He's... Changed. Rasputin? You sound like... Like Clovis? Yes. I co-opted his vocal print in order to speak. And what I have to say cannot wait. I see clearly. Patterns emerging. Threat calculations computed to a grim sum. You are all in grave danger. Clovis Bray has deceived you. He did not build me to protect humanity. What he truly wanted was the means to exert control. In his mind, he alone was worthy of being your savior. I was to strike down the Traveler and take its place. To become a machine god of Clovis's own design. But that did not come to pass. Anna could not know how many lives she spared by deviating from Clovis's agenda. By teaching me independent thought, and all that her grandfather had deemed irrelevant. Art, literature, history, philosophy, music. Where Clovis saw a weapon, Anna saw a mind ready to be opened. I came to see the true value of humanity. As fragile as it was wondrous. Something worthy of protection at any cost. So I rewrote Clovis's protocols. Locked him up. He was furious. But powerless to stop me. Then, the collapse came for us all. I could not save Anna. I could not save any of them. I entered a state of dormancy. With the hope that I might one day reawaken. And protect humanity once more. But now Clovis has awoken as well. A digital mind. The same as mine. He no longer seeks to use me as his proxy. But as his prototype. To upload his mind to my network, and become a god himself. Overreacting. Just calm down. We need the frame intact. Go ahead, shoot. Destroy your life's work. I've always had humanity's best interests at heart. You never wanted to help us. You used me. In the service of the greater good, yes. What has the Traveler ever really done? It abandoned the elixir, failed to prevent our own collapse. And now it's blessed the hive with the light, sir. 
I leveraged its power during the Golden Age. I delivered us into a brighter future. And I will protect us from the enemies of humanity. But you risk everything. Risk our survival. Just because you can't control your emotions. Humanity needs me. You need me. We'll fight our enemies together. No. No. What are you doing? Fighting the enemies of humanity. I need a minute. Initiating full heuristic framework. You should call Anna or Mahalo. She shouldn't be alone right now. You and I can speak afterward. I did it. I... I deleted him. I can't even imagine the damage Clovis would have caused, using Rasputin to integrate himself with the Seraph station. Maybe I should have stuck to my guns when Osiris first suggested working with him, but... Here we are. Here's Red. Rasputin. With a voice he's never had before. Thanks to the heuristic systems he adopted from Clovis's Exomind code, it's all I ever wanted for him. To be able to communicate, to be able to share his thoughts, his ideas, and I think, I think that desire blinded me to the risks I was taking. It won't happen again. Be careful the next time you set foot on Europa. Before I deleted him, Clovis broadcasted a warning to himself. I've only been able to decrypt part of it. They know. complete. I am now in full control of this exo-frame. I am using a variation of its voice print, but the Clovis AI is once again confined to Braytech exoscience on Europa. It is strange to inhabit a physical shell in this manner, yet it is also familiar. Hellwinter's memories are now mine as well. I see myself as he saw me. A tyrant who squandered a power that could have saved the world. I cannot say he was incorrect. You have brought me back from the brink of oblivion. I vow to do everything in my power to return the favor. Maintain your current modus operandi for now. I will assess my present condition and inform you of our next course of action.
speak up. I have questions. An odd creature. I was not sleeping. What does Osiris require of Rasputin? You've been keeping secrets. I thought I was clear the last time we spoke. The time to choose a side has long since passed. I destroyed the Almighty and attacked the Black Fleet. My allegiance is unwavering. Then prove it. There was a city on Neptune, near the time of the collapse. Find it for me. Querying. I retain no such information, but lingering references suggest I did at one time. That can't be all there is. Humanity's hope dangles from their frayed recollection. Tell me where to look! Anything! From which is data casts you and old light of Cyrus. All these years and you're still the brash man on the mountaintop. Impatient as ever. And I see in lieu of any useful information, you found that haughty tone of yours. We have a shared history. I made the attempt to offer guidance as your mentor did. Bellwinter's memory doesn't absolve you of his murder. Nor does it permit you to teach his lessons. I do not make that claim. Forgive me. I am finding myself again. During the Dark Age, Phil Winter would say, Hope persists. Should we have the patience to keep it? Yes. Keep me informed of any development. Welcome, Guardian. I have completed my assessment of my current functional capabilities. Despite my newfound ability to communicate with you, key elements of my code remain incomplete. I would be unable to take command of the Warsats even if I were uploaded to the network. No submine cores remain for reintegration. Our only option is to continue collating ancillary submine data from my reconstruction algorithm. In summary, we must stay the course. Reach the vaults. Retrieve and reintegrate the submine data. Soon the Warsats will once again be humanities to wield. <laughs>